everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a project as a DAO, uh, which is kind of a multi-app process. I'll go into that. So before I showed you how to create a DAO and after DAO or after plus plus, and today I'm going to show you how to create a project, which is the same flow, one of the, kind of the secondary CTAs on the boss.potluck.org, on the boss gateway for potluck or the boss app that all this is decentralized front ends. Um, and so here you can kind of see um, the normal information with create new project. There's been some additional stuff if uh, you just started uh, uh, applying um, it, uh, which is contracts and receive funding and the ability to sell like multiple categories and why you consider yourself a public good. I'm going to go through that, uh, but just, just to give an information on what's going on in the back end is you're actually getting added to three contracts, the social.near contract, which creates your profile. Um, and if you have a near social profile, if you see your icon pulling from an image on the meteor wallet on here wallet, um, if even on Near Horizon Accelerator application, they leverage this social profile information um, to kind of work as this decentralized uh, Web3 decentralized social um, akin to Lens or Forecaster, but way more composable because you can basically save any piece of data onto your social graph. And so the project ID, it would be DAO builders down there, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to register as a DAO. And what this does is instead of just making these transactions to add it to these three contracts, um, you're proposing to add it to these three contracts. So when you go to your DAO dashboard or um, after plus plus or whatever component you use, you'll actually have to execute three separate proposals. And if you have a five council team, you'll need like basically three, at least three of those people to execute on each proposal, which is a confusing part of uh, stuff there. And hopefully we can add that to the UI uh, once uh, um, yeah, in, in, in a bit where uh, all this is embedded, but for now you have to go to that uh, external application and I'll show you there in a second. So I'm going to show you an example of a DAO address that uh, is associated with some fees on potluck, but this particular account that's logged in doesn't have access to do a function call proposal. They do not have access to actually propose to interact with other contracts. If I go here, it says I don't have the required roles. I cannot propose to do this. But before we saw DAO builders, again, like they're all DAOs deployed under Sputnik DAO. This is the factory DAO contract. DAO builders do have permission. Let's call it near DAO builders. Let's give a short description. Uh, I'm going to actually near builders.com slash DAO. I'm going to give it the same description I gave before. Um, notice that information uh, isn't pulling from there. Um, you actually have to re-put it from the DAO. Um, and that's like the transaction from before. And why are you considered a public good? Like why do you provide more value creation than value extraction? Let's say uh, we provide an open space for DAO builders to collaborate and build and take no profits. Yeah, it's good enough. Peter's being a little bit slow. Let's call it, um, we build open source. We are a community. And let's say we're public good, which is a kind of a redundant category now that I think about it. Um, some people don't follow under that, but like most likely everyone's gonna be a public good unless you're like a, maybe like a for-profit climate company. And if you go to um, public.org slash project dash guidelines, you'll see that. So you can basically say, yes, my project has smart contracts. This actually works for any chain. In the future, we'll be adding an impact chain. And then my project has received funding. Um, this is if you received funding in the past and you can actually outline that amount. Um, and because it's open source, um, you can add your repositories on here. Like if you put that open source tag um, for now, I'm just gonna put this, uh, this isn't like a real repo uh, to be honest. So this isn't like the best thing to do, um, but essentially, when we add this impact tab, um, uh, it's gonna be inspired a lot by open source observer. You should definitely check it out. OP uses that to basically track um, the usage, the amount and sequences, fee sequencer fees generated, um, how much forks and dependencies, and uh, really use it as a qualitative and quantitative tool to, to track uh, the impact of open source software. So we'll be doing something similar, but now we're just collecting that data. So I'm just gonna add one repository for now. I'm going to take off funding sources because honestly, like that builders hasn't received any funding sources. And then the social link, honestly, we don't have any. Uh, the telegram link, I'm going to just put the website as like 
the Telegram link, to be honest, which is a short link. Because I don't want to put that all right now. But the thing about this is, is editing is very difficult. And we're still adding the edit profile as a DAO because anything you change, it's not just one person. You're not delegating access to one person to create those changes. You're going to basically be like, hey, DAO, I want to make these changes. And whoever has the voting permissions, most likely the council will have to be like, all right, we approve it. Um, luckily, changing this is only changing the social.near. The reason why we're doing three is because we're adding it to two registries. And so let's go back up. Um, you the team members should automatically populate from the council members, by the way, the way that we have this set up. But let's put the image here because no one likes to be this mystery man. And uh uh I'm gonna just put like a an image from before whatever I made the YouTube video. This kind of uh that's really not the best thing to do either, to be honest. But yeah. And then if you wanted to add team members, you could add team members if there are people on here, but it should be good. It's not showing. I swear I just put that here. Let me just retry it again. Okay. I'll be able to see it right here. Actually, I probably won't. So I'll say add proposal to create project. So it's doing three things, three different proposals. So keep track of this. Um, And the reason why we don't have it directly embedded is because it's kind of, especially if you got a lot of proposals, it's kind of hard to see the three latest proposals in Tanshares, but most likely it'll be the most three recent ones. Uh, we might embed that by checking like, hey, uh, do these proposals match the actual functions being called? But you can see like the args are uh, for function call proposals are encrypted. Uh, um, and so uh, you, can, you can also see three things that are happening. Your uh, basically adding it as a project to near horizon.near, that's their registry. You're adding it to potluck, which it's going to be pending. And you need to basically hit up someone in the potluck community telegram to uh, make this approved. And then, um, then it's going to be um, setting the near social uh, account. But also there's, uh, there's, there's a few things that are being done here too, as well as like following potluck.near and then also uh, starting to repo the DAO. But all that is, uh, all that is encompassed under the method name set for social.dear, where you're basically setting all these different um, data points, data trees um, there. So going to confirm it all, you might have seen in the last video, the deposit might change depending on what the bond amount is. Uh, in this case, it's changed to 0 0.01. By default, it, it's 0 0.1. Uh, but yeah, let's confirm those three proposals. You can re-verify it here. Um, it's, it's basically going to the DAO contract, adding three different proposals. And then it's going to execute. And then I'm just going to, yeah, this is taking longer than it should, uh, to be honest. Again, need to spin up and speed up some middleware going on. I'm going to go to, because I was telling you guys uh, how I don't like to use like after plus plus because of indexers. Um, and I also like using the same gateway that I'm on. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, yeah, so it 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 should tell you the proposal that it did. It didn't do it in this case. Um, but let's just go here. I have the, I'm, I'm logged in through this as well. So if I just re refresh here, um, this is actually linked to the specific proposal ID you could see here, but um, let me just refresh. Now it's all the way up to proposal four. Proposal one was the changing of the, of the... Oh, wow. Oh, okay, okay, I proposed this earlier in the video, I forgot. Okay, so you see three new proposals. It started at proposal zero, one, two, three, four, so there are five proposals in total. Um, and essentially, the first one shows the social near. It's actually pretty interesting because it didn't show the image, but you can see an IPFC ID. So for some reason, it wasn't updating on the front end. Um, and then you can also see it starring uh, the, the component and then uh, notifying Potluck of it and then also giving Potluck a follow as a, and also 
updating all the social information. Some of it are things that we're used to. Some of it are things that are uh, added by potluck, um, but that anybody can leverage uh, by, by indexing the social dot near contract. You can see the registry adding, and then you can see the near horizon. So if you're a DAO with five members and you need to like meet like a quorum, like you need to get a majority of people to that have voting permissions to vote on all three um, on this. So let's vote on here, come back around. And you know what? I'm gonna be extra. I'm gonna go back to the, I'm gonna show you the power of decentralized front ends. I'm gonna go back to the boss.potluck.org gateway that you know potluck is uh its primary gateway that's being built on. And I'm gonna just like change this component to boss.potluck.org because I may have not wanted to re-log in. And you can see this has been voted on, and I'm like literally uh back on the potluck gateway. Uh, and I'll show you by creating. So this is like what we do a lot too. And like some people, like you may also have like two wallets on this DAO um, and you may want to access it from different gateways instead of logging in or logging out as well. So that's uh, something to consider, especially if you're testing on like a staging environment. Um, proposal three has been passed and then proposal two has been passed. So usually when you create a, a profile, it will say, hey, successfully created a profile, view this. It's supposed to say, hey, you successfully uh, proposed a DAO and here are the proposals. It's not saying that for now, but a lot of people who are used to DAOs because of the tooling are really used to uh, like debugging. And so, um, yeah, now you can also see the moment I executed the near social contract, like on here, like to update it, the, in this DAO page, this changed. Um, so like you can see, like it updated the profile successfully. And then you can also see that the bio changes as well, because we're using the same, this component is using the same profile information that we're using for potluck. And then I can show you kind of a quick example. If I go back to the projects, I won't be able to see it because this only indexes the approved 90 projects and my default, there's a pending status um, for this. So you're going to need to, uh, like you're going to need to go to the potluck telegram and let them know, Hey, like approve me. But if I go to the project ID, I can easily just switch this out for the name. And this is a way to debug. So although you're not shown on the uh, initial directory, like you can access the page, people can donate to you. Um, and you can even edit the profile here. Um, but like, yeah, like people can, uh, donate to you and you don't even have to be on the registry. Actually, the donate contract works that it works with any account. And when we're checking statistics, we're only checking against approved accounts. Uh, but you can see the pending, it has not been approved. I'm gonna hit up the potluck team. Uh, they're gonna approve it. And then I'm gonna come back in a second. I hit up the team. Uh, the proposal status is updated. There's actually a pretty cool Twitter bot. I'll I'll link in the description that lets you know approvals for projects and also donations. Um, but as you see, this banner is no longer there. If it were rejected, it would say that it would say it was rejected for the reason. If it was gray listed, it would be like, "Hey, we gray listed you because we don't know whether you're a public good or not, or whether you're on this registry." So it's been improved. There is no banner. Um, there's also a new feature I didn't even realize until now that was available is. If you have function call proposal access to propose to change a profile or to edit a profile, uh, you can do so right here. And so you see here, it's already pre-filled out of this DAO um, and I can change here. I can just say in take no profit, it actually, uh, I'm gonna just put for free because take no profit is like, this thing doesn't bring any money at all. So I'm gonna update that information, um, take out this repo. I think it was just added automatically. We'll fix that, uh, take out, yes, my thing has smart contracts, um, and then add proposal to update project. You can see right now, it's just a social dot near because um, this has no effect on the other contracts. It's already registered on near horizon. It's already registered on the potluck registry. There is no need to update that. So there's only gonna be one proposal when you execute on it. Um, and if you click confirm only 0.01 because 0.01 per proposal, according, according to the bond amounts for the settings of this DAO as we went over in the deploy DAO video. And then let me go over here, refresh. Um, this is, Honestly, I should have changed something else because 
you can't really see uh, the public good response. Additionally, when you change something, it doesn't change the whole like data. It only changes um, the data associated with it. Um, so there's kind of a smaller deposit associated with with what is needed to execute this, but you can only see uh, uh, the smart contracts is null. I think I might've put that before and it accidentally failed. So when you see something is null, that's a way of basically deleting the data uh, by resetting it to null. So just to give some context there, so execute yes. And then I'm gonna run this one more time so you can actually see the updates or you can believe me. Um, and uh, yeah, we can also see it on the registry here. I didn't go back here. So if you go here, there's also a cool feature I just saw shared. So it went from uh it went from uh 90 to 91 in terms of projects approved. Let's look up DAO. I think there's some some error stuff going on. So I will we are actively optimizing this. Uh I think it's having a little bit of time trouble indexing. So apologies for that. But I know it's been added because it incremented uh, one. Yeah, so there's cattle. So it's now here on here. Uh, the search needs to be optimized on here, but you can see it's listed on the registry. Uh, oh, okay. The public good reasons on a lot of this got shipped an hour ago. Um, so uh, as I was making this tutorial, but you can see now the reason is build for free as opposed to we take no profit. So um, in here you basically saw how to um you know, created projects as a DAO, how to even edit the profile. Next video, I'm gonna show how to apply to a pod as a DAO, or, I mean, I can I, I can show that right now, to be honest. I can show that right now. So I'm, I'm gonna go to this pod, Creatives DAO. This isn't really a qualify for Creatives DAO, um, but I'm gonna go to applications. You can see current applications. There is, uh, most of them have been approved. Um, and let's go to apply to pot. Um, normally, like if you were word registered, uh, just like I showed in the apply to pod video, um, you would need to register, but we just did that. So this is like a two step process. And you're like, I just want money. This is gonna get rejected because this doesn't fall under the scope. Um, but I'm gonna show that now you can see it's an ad proposal to dot builders that's about the dot deer. If you didn't have permissions to do this, it would say that on here, just like before. Um, you could see now that the function is uh like is not is like the pot luck pot fact like the pot, which is deployed under v1 pot factory called creatives, and it's the apply because that's uh that's universal across applying to pots, but the actual pot name is under the creatives namespace. We're gonna pay 0.01 to do the proposal because that's the settings for that. Um See here, it doesn't show up because it didn't happen. How it happens is actually executing. This should be proposal number six. Now you can see the actual proposal with the message, I just want money. Let's vote yes. If you're in a DAO that has more than one person, you're gonna need multiple people to vote and to actually execute this. So hit up your DAO, hit up your peoples, and then you're gonna see this now on the applications. It will not be accepted, it needs to be approved. So hit up someone in the potluck telegram or whoever you know is the chef or the owner or the admin of that quadratic funding round and be like, please approve me or please review my application. Um, hopefully the, this will be supported on the Twitter bot as well. Um, and then we can go back here. This will be, it, it just refreshed over here so we can see that. Um, Okay, this is an this is an updating. But notice I'm using the S King widget instead of the after plus plus on here because uh like let's see if it actually updated in time. So let's go to proposals. I'm just checking on the other one. So yeah, it's it's updated at this point. I just honestly I, I'm more dependent on this because if I go to uh boss.potluck.org and the same gate 
gateway that I am used to using, uh, like then I think like, yeah, it couldn't fetch the proposal from the API because this gateway isn't whitelisted on core. So it had to hit, have to hit the PyTB team. But I normally don't like doing that because also uh, boss.potluck.io works dot app dot xyz and also app dot potluck so there are like eight different places I, I could pick and choose from it depending on like where i'm logged in i i switch it out just um transparency there and uh yeah let's go to the creatives round let's check the applications and then you can see here the dow builders i just want money it's not there for some reason the image isn't showing even though i updated it because this is pulling straight from the near social uh but hopefully it will um, I don't know why that is, but you can see now I showed you how to create project as a DAO, how to vote on it, how to edit the project as a DAO, how to vote on it, and how to apply to a pot as a DAO. Um, and they have to approve it, uh, whoever the, the chef is, is. And you can basically see all of that goodness, the owner and any admins and the chef and who's the account's responsible if you really want to shake someone down and really get your applications uh, processed. But they should be looking at this every day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully that was informative to you. And um, yeah, till next time.